Hey YouTube, Vermont Prepper here, just getting around to testing my inverter as well as my solar panels. It's the first uh, sunny day we've had in Vermont in a while. We had tons of snow and I'll show you my uh, setup out here outside the apartment complex. As you can see the sun is uh, out really good right now and uh, I have my four 150 watt panels set up right out here and uh, I shoveled out a little bit of the snow to make some room for it. So now we'll go back inside and check out the output of it. Okay, so right here is my BMV 712 monitor and you can see we're at 174 watts coming in. Uh, that's net. So I have stuff plugged in, which I'll show you. And let's see the uh, amperage. Net 12, 12.8 <clears throat> 12 uh, amps on the uh, solar charge controller. I'm pushing right now about, let's see, 24 amps. So, you know, it's a net difference there. You take the 12, 24 minus the 12, and you got about a net 12 amps there. So that's why the monitor shows that. Everything goes through the monitor. Uh, right now I have plugged in to this outlet. I have my Nature's Power inverter, and that's the 1800-watt, 160-amp-hour uh, uh, battery. <clears throat> And, uh, you know, it's, this is charging, my big battery's charging it. And into that, I have plugged in these computers, this, these two monitors. And this, this, actually, this is a monitor with the laptop. Laptop and this monitor are plugged into it, into this Nature's Power, uh, as well as my whole TV console. And that includes my, you know, my Bose lifestyle uh, set up right there, you know, with all the speakers, uh, as well as the TV. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to turn on this uh, light for the fireplace right here. This is a, uh, a light for a fireplace. And let's see what that does. We'll make a difference here. I'm sure it will make some difference okay so that's roughly 12.5 amps I don't know if it made a, a heck of a lot of difference but let's do this let's turn on the heater and I'm sure that will make a difference so let's do that all right you see it's on And let's see what that does. Oh, it doesn't look like it's on yet. Hold on. There we go. Now we can hear it. And the inverter, you know, handles it no problem. That's my 3500 watt uh, Chinese job. And the EDE COA is the brand I don't know uh, you can find them on Amazon and on eBay really cheap and I paid only three hundred twenty seven dollars for this 12 volt and this thing really really cranks uh, I haven't had any issues with it at all and only a uh, uh, the fan only came on when I put on a vacuum which is you know 1200 watts or so so let's see all right so now yeah now we're cooking so now a minus 116 amps so that's you know it's really drawing power uh, from the battery uh, and I'm a, a very very negative right now uh, and you see my battery voltage it was like 12.9 now it's 12.25 
temperature's starting to crank up on the battery. It's 72. It was 71. It's not too bad. And it shows that that heater only gives me 1.3 hours on this 300 amp hour battery. So uh, you don't want to run heaters if you don't have to. They, they draw a lot of power. Uh, you see I'm drawing 1400 watts. That's a net negative, okay? So that heater is probably, uh, probably about 1500 or so because I have some other things plugged in. So let's shut that off so we don't continue to draw the power. There we go. I haven't used it in a while. It took me a while to figure it out. Uh, it'll run for a little bit until, until it shuts. And now you can see we're back at a net positive of 145 watts. So I uh, didn't like that heater very much, but at the same time, you know, I can run it for a little bit if it gets too cold, but I don't see myself running it uh, for very long periods of time. Anyways, just wanted to show you the setup that it is working. Uh, the the charge controller, uh, the battery was near 100% when I started. Charge controller uh, started out, charged it a little bit, kicked off like it should after the batteries, you know, had a small drain to them. Then when I started plugging in stuff, it started kicking up again, and uh, now it's gone. So it's great. Now I'm in the net positive, and eventually this battery will fully charge back to 100%. Let's see where we're at right now. We're net positive 11 amps, charging at 13 volts. And we're at 98.4%. You know, not too bad. It uh, drew it down pretty quickly, though. And, uh, you know, it's one of those things where you don't want to use it if you don't have to, that heater. All right, Vermont Prepper out. Uh, please feel free to comment, like, subscribe. I always enjoy comments. Take care, and as always, be prepared.